All right, so this is what you're gonna need to make your Evil Punisher launcher. Uh, you're gonna need these two inch, about two inch uh, PVC pipe, already cut. You're gonna need about one, two, three, five, and PVC tops. A six inch tail piece for the sink. You're gonna need two of those. Some duct tape. Super glue. Some black foam sheets. About two of those. This is the main thing you're gonna need. It's a three inch uh, PVC pipe. Three inch, it's pretty big. It's gonna be your launcher. Uh, two water bottles. Now this is optional. Uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get some like a sight, maybe, a scope. So that you can, uh, you know, so it looks cool. In. Don't know if you can see it's got a red beam inside it. See that? And this is gonna go on top of the launcher. Uh, it just, I don't know, it just makes it look cool, I guess. Comes with a switch. Um, also a sling. This right here is a sling. In case you want to add a sling to your launcher. After you're done putting it all together, uh, you're going to need an assortment of colors, any type of uh, spray paint cans, any color you want to color your your Evil Punisher launcher, that solid black right here. Still undecided about the color of my launcher, uh, I'm going to probably make it either a green or a black, all black. So these are the products you're going to need um, to make your evil punisher launcher let me see let me get you close all right and the project should take about i don't know half a day i think uh we'll see what it can do okay my evil villains now that you know what exactly you need to make this uh evil punisher launcher you're gonna begin by cutting these water bottles. Uh, I suggest you cut the the end off it. Uh, this way, you can use the the PVC pipe here, uh, the top. You're gonna use it for uh, the bottom end of this uh, of this. I don't know what it's called, a housing maybe, because this is what you're gonna use to. Uh, launch the explosives uh, so you're gonna want to cut the ends off not all the way just just maybe uh, like an inch from where the top is depending on your water bottle every, wherever you're gonna buy you know plastic water bottles they're all gonna be different so you want to make sure you have a good length uh, good length uh, this way it'll give uh, you know a little room and uh, you're gonna begin by cutting it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this knife. Um, now, if this project might be a little harder for some people, uh, mainly you know the teens, uh, teenagers, or uh, you know like ages. Uh, if you want to do this project, I know I'm an evil villain, but I do care about uh, the safety of my villains. <laughs> All right, so uh, you don't want to you don't want to cut yourself uh, trying to do this project because this will this knife is pretty sharp. All right, this thing will will cut your finger off. So you want to be careful, evil villains. All right, don't be safe um, when you're using this. Wear gloves, um, and uh, if you have uh, an adult or if you're an adult, uh, go ahead and do this project uh, supervising. Uh, <laughs> Other evil villains, uh, it's good that um, you use safety first, okay? And I don't want anybody cutting their finger off over this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use it, and I'm going to start chopping away. 
So just uh, just a reminder, just be very careful, okay? Um, so yeah, see you when I'm done. All right, my evil villains. Uh, I went ahead and uh, cut the tip from the water bottle off, plus the bottom part of the water bottle onto this uh, this first one. And as you can see, I've already super glued the the bottom end, this end, to the PVC top. Now we're just gonna let it uh, dry. It's already drying, as you can see. Oh, I dropped some uh, glue. Yeah, we're gonna let it dry. Just leave it there to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and do the do the next one. Uh, top. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, now this is very dangerous. Okay, uh, you want to make sure and uh, get a good grip on the bottle using a knife or a saw. I mean, I I would definitely use like a kitchen knife to just do this little project because it doesn't it doesn't take much. Go ahead and saw the tip of this thing. Once you get halfway, you can go ahead and just um, twist it off, I guess. No, still needs a little bit more. Go ahead and get it by the other end. Now, this is a new video I'm starting to show. Uh, Showing everybody my evil villains. Um, this is more of a hands-on, not like the AK-47 custom paint jobs I've been doing. Uh, we're moving out of those uh, custom paint jobs. Uh, anybody can do those. Uh, what we're doing is now we're going into the more villainous activities. I'm gonna definitely show show you hands-on and some more of the. More of the evil things we'll be doing on this channel. So, already got the top off that. And we're not gonna need it. We're gonna go ahead and super glue this end to this end. It'll be the start of our, uh, this will be the inside of our launcher. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the, the top of this thing and uh, super glue it. We'll be super gluing it to this thing. So yeah, see you in a little bit.